Hi, I'm Cindy Hathaway with Fonz and Porter, and today's So Easy lesson is on making strip sets. Um, I have one here in front of me, and when I make strip sets, I prefer, especially if they're uh, small, thin uh, pieces, to just use a half a segment. It just makes it so much easier to handle. So I have a, a piece that's already cut, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, line up my ruler and cut off on the fold. That way you're not wasting much fabric, but it'll make it much more manageable to make your strip set. Um, strip sets don't look that difficult, and they really aren't, but there's a couple things that will make them come out a lot nicer for you. Um, I'm gonna take our colored middle section and just add it to the blue. And I'm lining up the salvages because you don't need to cut them off. And then I'm just gonna uh, do a quarter inch seam. And you don't really need to pin them. Uh, you can if you want. You just make sure that the bottom strip is lined up with your top strip. You don't want to get all done and find out that uh, you've missed your bottom strip or that it's on crooked. That won't make for very uh, straight rows when you're done. Strip sets help to speed up the process of um, several patchwork projects that we are known to do. Um, and then we're going to take it over to the pressing center. And first you're going to set your seam. I know many of you already know about this, but this will help make a nice crisp uh, seam when you're done. And the reason for that is because when you're stitching, you're opening up those fibers with the needle. And so this helps to close them again. Now, when you're doing a strip set, um, I can show you a couple things. You may want to first uh, just go through and finger press. That's one of your options. Or you can use the point of the iron to help open that seam up. It's very important that you just press. You don't want to be uh, ironing like you would a shirt because that will distort your row. You won't end up with nice straight rows. So make sure that you're just pressing. And from here, we're going to add our next strip. And if we put them in the same order as the one I have laid out, it's the blue, then the colored, and then the pink. And the first time that I stitched, I started from this end and stitched down to here. And to help keep our rows straight when I do the next row, then I want to make sure that I start on the opposite end for our stitching. This will help alleviate some of that uh, wackiness that can happen with our strip sets. So I'm going to lay this on top of here and make sure that I start on the opposite end. For this strip set, I'm only going to be putting together three uh, strips of fabric. If you're going to do several strips for your strip set, um, then it's easier if you just do pairs and then put the pairs of strips together. And that'll also um, help you keep them nice and straight. This is a great way to make a four patch or a checkerboard. Um, there's just so many neat things. You can make whole blocks with your strip set. Just continue to make strip sets. And then say you wanted a six and a half inch block, then you could just cut your six and a half inch block from that. And again, we're going to set the seam. Open it up 
finger press. And the reason for finger pressing is so that you don't get um, what we call valleys in here where your fabric would be overlapped and have uh, space underneath it. You don't want that on the front of your quilt. So then we're going to press. And then you have a nice strip set. From your strip set, you're able to cut different sections out of it. And again, your pattern will tell you uh, how wide to cut your strips, how many strips that you'll need for your project, and also once your strip set is made, how wide to cut your sections. So let's just cut um, maybe a three and a half, two and a half inch segment out of here. When you do this, you're going to line up your ruler, the line um, on the seam, the line on the top, and your piece should come out nice and straight. I overcut that piece and I can come back and trim it down to use um, as one of my sections. But this way you just keep going on and there's different sections. These, I cut these two and a half inches, line up my line, line it up up there. And if you get off a little bit, then it's, you know, which you can do, um, and you don't have your line here, a line here, a line down the side. If they don't all line up, then you're off just a little bit, and that's okay. Just go ahead, overcut it just a little bit. I'm going to do that with this one because mine needs to be um, lined up a little better. Turn your piece over because I overcut it. That's what I mean by overcutting is when you have a piece that's cut a little larger than the measurement that you needed. Cut off that little bit and your um, side is once again straight and you're ready to cut your next piece. And that's all there is to um, strip piecing. It's very easy. Just follow some of the easy tips that we've given you and you'll have much more success. I hope you've enjoyed this So Easy lesson today. And please check on FonzandPorter.com for many more So Easy lessons that will help you with your patchwork. Thank you and have a great day.